What's up everybody, I'm the Man Goose, you were awesome, and today we're going to take another look at Revenblade, a third-person class-based arena brawler in development from Medallion Slate. This one is in early pre-alpha testing, anyone can play if you have a PC. Testing is done on Wednesdays, and the game can be downloaded from their Discord. You can also download an offline client to just mess around on the map by yourself. It's the offline client that I'll be using today to take you on a tour of the various heroes currently in the game and showing you their abilities. This will be a very basic look at the characters. For more in-depth ability applications from a much better player, you can check out a similar video done by a panda sniper linked in the description below. Of note, he is a panda that snipes, not someone who snipes pandas. Each hero has a basic attack tied to left mouse button, a secondary tied to right mouse button, a movement ability that is on your shift, a defensive ability tied to E, and a heavy attack bound to Q. There are currently six playable classes, however they do plan to add at least three characters per class before the game's final release. They also intend to have several different maps, in fact they are currently working on the second map right now. The current playable classes are the Archer, Assassin, Warrior, Tank, Healer, and a Mage. Let's start out with the Archer. The Archer is a long range damage dealer perfect for people who enjoy using hard to hit abilities that have a big payoff. Her basic attack is a shot from her bow. Holding the bow longer will give you a faster, longer range projectile that deals more damage. You can just fast click the attack, but it's kind of pitiful to do so. Also, you deal a little more damage the closer you are to a target, encouraging you to kind of get up close and personal instead of hanging way, way back. The Archer's basic attack deals more damage to stunned enemies, and it doesn't matter who stuns them, making her a perfect follow-up for some of the other playmakers. She does have a stun of her own via this trap that she lays on the ground. This is her secondary fire on her right mouse button. Enemies that pass over the trap are stunned, allowing the Archer a free high damage shot. Her shift movement ability is a quick dash that also gives her a very small speed boost. The Archer defensive ability allows her to go invisible for a short period of time. And the heavy attack is an explosive arrow that deals high AoE damage. Next up is the Assassin. The Assassin is a highly mobile hero that excels at eliminating squishy backline characters. His basic attack is a simple sword swing. You see 500 damage here, but that has been reduced in order to balance him better. He also slows down a bit when basic attacking. His movement ability is a short dash that deals damage when he passes through a target. This ability is tied to an energy bar that's kind of behind the scenes. Basically, it takes 50 energy to cast dash, so if you wait long enough, you can double dash, kind of like it has two charges. The assassin can also wall climb. As you can see, a combination of dashes and wall climbs allows you to traverse the map in unexpected ways rather quickly. Your secondary attack is a shuriken that deals a bit of damage, slows, and marks the target. Attacking this target consumes the mark and deals extra damage. That can be with a basic attack or an ability. The defensive ability is a short duration counter that will block incoming damage and heal him. The assassin heavy is an execute with both swords. It deals 1000 damage baseline, however, the lower a target's health, the more damage it deals. On to the warrior. While the Warrior's kit may lead you to believe that he's also meant to assassinate backline heroes, he's actually more suited to creating plays than executing them. He's also a beast when it comes to dealing damage to objectives. The Warrior's basic attack is a melee swing with his staff that deals a pretty significant amount of damage. His movement ability is a long range dash that allows you to control your trajectory. Basically, he can fly for a bit on a short cooldown. The secondary ability allows you to ground enemies, taking away their jump and their movement abilities. His defensive is a parry that heals you much like the assassin, but it's a bit longer. They are currently looking at ways to change his defensive to make him a bit more fun and to differentiate him from the assassin. His heavy is an AoE slam that deals damage and pulls targets to him. Now my personal favorite, the tank. 
The tank excels at creating opportunities and pilling for his allies. I'll go a bit more in depth with the tank as I feel I can actually offer a bit of insight into how to play him well. The tank basic attack is a melee swing with his hook. It's a bit slow and doesn't deal much damage, however, it's enough that you can't just ignore it. The tank movement ability is also an attack. You jump into the air, target a location, and come crashing down, dealing damage and stunning enemies in an area around you. His secondary is a wall of rock that he just kind of pops up out of the ground, kind of like a maze wall in Overwatch. The tank defensive is a simple 50% damage reduction for, I think it's 4 seconds, that may change. There currently is not an indicator for when it's active, that will be added in soon. The tank's heavy, and the reason I love him, is a long range hook. You guys know I love my fat hookers. You can hook someone out of the enemy team, wall off their escape, and hope that your team can finish them off. If they do get away, you can use your movement to leap into the air and crash back down on them, keeping them in place for just a bit longer. Your main focus when playing the tank is to be patient. Wait until you know you'll have backup damage and then engage. You pick where the fight will happen, so pick wisely. Keep an eye out for assassins attacking your backline and pull them away with your hook. Most of the time you'll hook someone, then wall, then use your movement to reposition or re-engage. However, always look for ways to mix it up. Sometimes it's better to engage with your movement ability, then use your wall to cut the enemy team in half, then pick off any stragglers with your hook. Next up is the healer. The healer is of course designed to support her allies, however, unlike supports in most games, she's capable of dealing a pretty hefty amount of damage. Her basic attack is a glaive that boomerangs out in a straight line, dealing 350 damage each time it hits. It can also travel through multiple enemies. Her secondary is a link to an ally that gives 300 health per second. Dealing damage with your basic attack will heal your linked ally. And please remember that all these numbers are subject to balance changes. The healer's movement ability allows her to provide a speed boost to herself and all allies around her. Her defensive gives you and her link target a shield. She also has the ability to double jump, however, that is on a cooldown and you can't just keep doing it. The healer heavy is a large AoE heal. Last but not least is the mage, another one that I feel comfortable with going into more detail about. The mage is a ranged hero that sacrifices basic damage to provide team utility and massive AoE damage. Her basic attack fires out three kind of slow missiles that deal 150 damage each. It's very rare that you'll land all three of these, so I like to kind of try and spread them out like a shotgun. Her movement ability is a short dash. Her defensive is an ice block that will prevent all damage for 2 seconds. You can cancel this early if you wish. Her secondary attack is a ranged stun. This travels faster than your basics and deals 400 damage up front, so you can use this to snipe low health enemies if you feel safe enough to do so. The Mage Heavy is a large AoE explosion that deals high damage. The Heavy also marks targets caught in the blast. Marked targets will take extra damage from your basic attacks, and your basics will bounce between marked enemies. Once hit, the mark is consumed. You can also increase the duration of your stun by hitting marked enemies. While my favorite is the tank, I am by far the most effective with the mage. The key to playing her well is not to go for kills as much as just deal as much damage to as many people as possible while remaining safe. Save your stun for when an assassin tries to pick you off. Use your ice block when needed, but break it early and dash away. With that being said, when you see the opportunity to throw a Hail Mary, don't be afraid to go for the flashy plays. I'm really enjoying the current lineup of characters, however, I'm also very much looking forward to what Medallion Slate has in store for us in the future. As I mentioned at the start, if you want to try Revenblade out yourself, you're more than welcome to participate in the Wednesday playtesting. Just join their Discord and keep an eye out for the playtest announcements and the link to the newest version of the game. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. This is the Mangoose, hoping that I'll see you on the Rev and Blade Battlefield soon. You guys have a good one. Right. Does that count for hitting the crystal? They just have uh, one guy. No, it's push. only hitting enemies. Okay, just one They just have Mangoose push. Yeah, it used to heal for hitting like little pieces of rubble. Little. It's about. I think it's the height of those. About. I Maybe like I about go. twice the height of a character. Okay. Man, Goose, your hooks are insane. Yeah, I hooked you out of the air there, huh? <laughs>
I got kill credit for that. I feel like assassins won't find buggy sometimes, but it will throw me off the ledge. So I don't yeah. Like, yeah. Ballsy. Ballsy. Oh, cow. The balls. Man, goose. Getting hooked by that tank is like a scary. Especially yeah, because it's really sudden and it like. Oh, and if you're moving, it kind of disorients you. Disorients you. Or at least yeah. when you're playing on low. I don't know if it's, you're on high. If it does that. I keep accidentally canceling my my. my... <coughs> Apparently, I killed you. It's because the uh, oh crap! <laughs> oh. You died. Nice. I'm okay. <laughs> I know the yeah. last time I played, you said uh, you were gonna change it. What does the um, like, kill power up do right now? When you get so, the uh, three kills. Yeah, after you've gotten three kills, it gives like a twenty or thirty percent damage buff for forty-five seconds for each battle. Jeez. Oh my lord. Uh, it, someone just glitched out. That was me. My poor camera. I'm big braining this stuff. Mocha. Hey Panda, what do you think you're doing? Nice. Come here. Bye, Panda. Mangoo! <laughs>